Hey guys, Josh here again. Today I will be showing you how to make a very simple beglery set. To do this, you will need six quarter inch square nuts, a piece of paracord, some super glue, a little bit of rough sandpaper, a pair of scissors, and a lighter. The package for the nuts looks like this. You can find them at your local hardware store. Um, they are a specialty nut, so sometimes they are hard to find, but uh, I found them with just a little bit of searching, so hopefully you can too. To get started, I'm going to rough up one face of each nut. I am then going to take two of the nuts and rough up the opposite face as well. These will be the middle nut in our stack, and this roughing up process will give the glue better purchase. Now we're just going to glue them together with one of the nuts that we sanded both faces on in the middle. And we're going to make two stacks of three, just like this, and we're going to glue these together with super glue. You can also use two-part epoxy for this if you want a permanent bond, but it's just a little bit harder to work with, so I decided to use super glue. Once you have done that, you now have your two weights. Next, you can take your cord and tie a knot in one end. Now this can be an overhand knot or a double overhand knot, double barrel knot, it doesn't really matter. A double barrel knot is going to be much more secure and you won't really have to worry about it coming undone. Um, but it is pretty bulky, especially in 550 cord and I just don't really like how it feels. And if you cut and burn the ends, you really don't have to worry about any knot coming undone anyway. So that's kind of up to you. I'm just going to use a simple overhand knot. Then just slide both of your weights onto your cord. Just like that. Now comes the tricky part, figuring out how long you want your cord. So there are a lot of different opinions on this subject, but personally, I would recommend starting by measuring the width of your hand at the base of your fingers here. As you can see, mine's right around three inches. Then once you have that measurement, I would recommend adding one to two inches to that length. And if you're just starting out, that really is a great place to start. But ultimately, it is personal preference, so I'd highly recommend you guys playing around with this length until you Find one that really works well for you and just suits your style of play. Also, make sure to keep in mind that this cord length is measured in between the two weights. So at the moment, I'm really liking a cord length of about four and a half inches. So I'm going to start by measuring four and a half inches between my two weights. Then I'm going to pinch that spot and attempt to tie another overhand knot right on that spot. And this might take a little tinkering until you get it right. There you go. Once you're about where you want it, play with it a little bit. Swing it around, see how it feels. After all, that's the most important part. That feels pretty dang good to me. So now we are ready to finish the ends of our cord. Now there are two good ways to do this. One is to cut it off about a half inch from the knot and just let it fray naturally and create kind of a neat little tassel. Some people really like this and uh, I have this on a few sets of my beglery and it's a lot of fun. Um, the second way is to cut and burn the end and that's a much more secure and kind of like cleaner looking way to do it and that's the way we're going to be doing for this set but either way is fine. Just keep in mind that if you choose to let the ends fray and become tassels, that there is a possibility that the knot can come undone. So if you want to go that route, I would highly recommend a double barrel knot. So simply take your scissors, snip it off nice and close, 
and melt that end down. Simple as that. Also keep in mind that melting paracord does put off some toxic fumes, so try to do this in a well-ventilated area. Now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. You now have a fully functional set of beglery ready to play. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope this helped you, and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like or a comment down below, and make sure to check out some of the other videos on my channel. I do lots of cool builds and tutorials, among other things. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. I try to post a new video about every three weeks, and I really hope to see you guys there. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.